Hello, everybody. My name is Federico Solazzo, and I'm going to introduce you to the Nord Stage EX. As you can see, the top panel is divided among the master section with black background and the other sections dedicated to the other different functions organ, piano, and synth. The Nord Stage EX works with two layers. Each layer can host the organ, piano, and synth section. In the organ section, we find three sound families the tone wheel organ, the Vox organ, and the Fafitza organ. This is the tone wheel organ sound. This is the Vox. This is the Fafitza. In the organ section, we also logically find the controls of the rotary emulation. As we'll see later on, the rotary speaker can be assigned also to the piano and synth section. Belonging to the master section, the rotary effect is applied to the master output, affecting both layers of each instrument section. Any or all of the sections of panel A could easily be layered with any or all of the sections of panel B. This is the organ. Without rotary, with rotary. Let's move to the piano section. Here you can find many acoustic and electric pianos, ranging from different grand and upright pianos, sampled with different room acoustics and with different microphone techniques, from very close miking to ambient miking. Here are some grand piano samples. Those were the grand pianos. Here are some upright pianos. This is the CP80 electric grand. Some classic electric piano. This was the Mark One. Moving from the Mark One suitcase model to the Mark II model. Mark V. Wurlitzer. Clavinet. With different pickup positions. Hapsichord.
with Lutstock. Then we find the synth section fitted with subtractive synthesis, FM and wavetable synthesis. Some examples of the subtractive synthesis Wavetable FM with operators and some layered sounds. Moving on, let's hear the stage EX as it's meant to be, in a live application. This patch was programmed very quickly. Here's how I did it. I layered an acoustic piano and an electric tines piano. I can close them with the pedal to allow the pad sound to come over. The pad is enriched by some modulations in the filter. By releasing the pedal, the piano sound comes up again and the pad fades away. These types of settings are very fast and intuitive to set up in real time. To add some more features to the sound, I set up a keyboard split, something that is also very easy to do in real time. Last but not least, I added a lead sound with aftertouch controlling the cutoff frequency and the vibrato as well. If I would want to radically change the sound, I can do it easily, even in a live situation. Let's try a rotary speaker on a compressed piano. Everything under your fingertips.